Hi guys, thanks for watching this episode. And today we're gonna to take a look at my New Age uh, Pro garage cabinets. So you can see them behind me. Um, so basically I've got three uprights here on one side and then three uprights on the other side. Uh, and then there's some small cabinets in the center. So let's take a look at that. So, of course, uh, when I purchased this, it was a set of four talls, four bottom, four top, and one corner top. Um, I added ones on each side for more storage. Uh, I did buy this kit from Wayfair, and it looked like it came shipped direct from uh, New Age's warehouse. So basically, this style of cabinets they offer in the Bold series and in the Pro series. So the Bold is a little lighter duty. Uh, it's not as heavy gauge of steel, or should I say light gauge. Um, the bolts are only 18 inches deep, while the uh, Pro cabinets are 24 inches deep. Um, they do have different color options. You can get black with gray doors. You can get um, gray and white cabinets, which aren't that common. Um, or, of course, the red and black, which I've got here. So, if we look at the uprights, behind me here, of course, there's aluminum trim in the center and a simple twist lock. Uh, one thing to note, the keys are universal, which is, of course, good and bad. Um, good, of course, if you lose a key or if you add on, uh, it's not that hard to use the key for all the cabinets or get a replacement. The bad, of course, it's common, so if somebody does have a similar cabinet, they can unlock your cabinets. But um, So single lock, aluminum trim that's recessed in. As you can see, uh, four hinges on the door itself, and they are self-closing hinges. So that door will... As you can see, shut on its own. And there are also um, a couple magnets, one at the top up here, and then one at the bottom to hold the door closed. Uh, other than that, they do come with shelves. I think it's like four shelves per cabinet. They're pretty heavy duty, uh, pretty easy to install. The cabinets do all bolt together. You can maybe see it in there. Um, so you can move them around in any configuration you want. It doesn't have to look like uh, what the picture shows online. Uh, poly adjustable feet at the bottom. One thing to note, is if you do go with uh, Swiss Trax flooring, like this Eco Smooth Track floor, uh, I would highly recommend putting this down first and then getting your cabinets. Because if you push this down all the way to your wall with these poly adjustable legs, you can easily slide the cabinets around instead of having to try to use a jack or or manhandle the cabinets. They, they, it's impressive how easily they slide on this uh, tile. So that's just something to be aware of. If you're looking at getting the tile, get it down, then get the cabinets on top of it. It'll make life much easier. So of course this one has the corner cabinet. Uh, Plenty of storage space, one shelf. 
The other cabinets, same type of deal, one shelf. They do all bolt together, and then there's brackets. Uh, if you do have boards across the top, you can put the brackets up, let them sit on the brackets, and then attach them all. Uh, one thing that's definitely a drawback to the corner cabinet setup is the corner needs to be perfectly square. On this setup here, it's a pull barn, it's a little bit off, and just that little bit, of course, you can see a gap here uh, in between these cabinets on the bottom down here. And also, you can see it back here on the actual um, tops. The tops don't fit square because of how off this is right here. So that's one thing to be aware of if you do end up going with the corner style. It's just... Make sure that corner is square, for sure. Um, other than that, so... If you look at this style cabinet, uh, this one is weighted at the bottom because of how much weight you could potentially put on these drawers while you pull them out. So, there is a granite weight under here i don't know how much it weighs but i will tell you <laughs> this cabinet is quite heavy uh, so on this side it does come with a trash bin on the other side it comes with uh like bolt bins here on both sides of the cabinet and of course the top one is just a normal drawer. Uh, one thing that is pretty cool on the lock on these, you can see there's a green indicator. You lock it and then there's a red indicator. Same is said for the drawer style. Uh, has that same type of lock with a green indicator. You turn it locked and it shows red. Uh, one thing to note about these drawers is they do come with a set of dividers. Uh, one set will pretty much square off this drawer, which is pretty cool. Uh, I wish they came a little bit more with the amount of dividers. So if you really wanted to divide this whole cabinet out, but uh, I don't know where I set those. Um, but they're around here somewhere. I haven't, of course, gotten a chance to really organize this the way I want it. So, so as you open a drawer, you can see there are divider slots. Um, it did come with a few dividers that you can separate uh, a drawer out. I wish it came with a few more. I haven't used them yet, but yeah, the stack I have is probably this stick at the thick of dividers. So it's probably enough to do one drawer and that's about it. But no, uh, the quality seems pretty good. Uh, especially for this being a just a garage storage system, I thought it'd be kind of cheesy, but I'm quite impressed um, with the quality of the drawers. They are ball bearing. And yeah, they seem to close really well, so. On the other side, of course, we just have a bottom cabinet. The lock doesn't indicate if it's locked or unlocked. Uh, I also don't care for when you go to open them, you can see here. It's kind of cocked at the top and the magnet's holding at the bottom. So you kind of got to open it near the midpoint of the um, door. But yeah, they're they're not bad, but like I said, you gotta open them down here. They also have a drawer that does slide out. Uh, I haven't gotten around to it. My thought was to mount all my chargers in here and I'd be able to slide it out, throw a battery on charge, you know, slide it back in. So that's the plan for that. 
but as you can see, it's kind of a mess right now. Uh, I guess this is a good time to look at the mounting. You can see the slots in the back. Um, all, the, all of the cabinets have slotting like this in the back, so you have plenty of options for mounting. And then the tops. You can see that screw up there. That's, of course, um, how the tops are attached. Uh, I went with stainless steel. They do have bamboo wooden tops, is what they call them. Uh, I just thought the stainless looked nicer. But you guys might choose the wood. The stainless is light. You're not going to be pounding stuff on this countertop. So don't expect to do anything like that. But just for, you know, setting stuff on it, little light stuff, it'll be definitely fine for that. Uh, I haven't... I do need to get some sort of lights for underneath. They do offer some, but I didn't like... I didn't like the color level of them. I can't remember what K they were, but it was pretty, pretty low. So, yeah, and I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do on the back wall part of this, as you can see here. But no, uh, I, I guess overall, I'd have to highly recommend these New Age Pro cabinets. They've been pretty good. Definitely uh, gets a lot of junk off the ground and in in some storage units uh, shipping was pretty easy assembly very little assembly basically you got to put the legs on the bottom and attach them uh, you could even some of these you can even uh, remove the legs and just have the holders in the back suspending the cabinets on the wall. Uh, I didn't want to put that much load on the wall, so of course I put the put the legs on. But that's something you can do is just suspend the cabinets uh, off a wall. So yeah, like I said, they're pretty nice quality um, for the money. Yes, they are. <laughs> I mean, nothing anymore seems cheap. They are pretty expensive, but for me. I would have rather spent the money in something like this and not a toolbox. Because to me, I needed more storage for drills and tools that are in cases, you know, stuff like that. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Uh, please subscribe and like below. And again, thanks for watching.